Hello and welcome back and that is right we've got some positive information that DSM 7.2 the beta is going to arrive very very soon but a few disclaimers straight off the bat first and foremost I do apologize for the slightly clickbaity nature of this video's title uh, I apologize for that you will make sense as I go into this video and I really tried to find a way to phrase this video without making it sound that way and it was just really really difficult uh, secondly I've got a rotten cold right now so I apologize if I sound tremendously nasal uh, and lastly I was genuinely not thinking about making this video until like three different people in the last two hours got in contact about this and that is to do with Synology's own download site and if you go to their download site old archive.synology there you can go into normal OS packages there and this is where you can get hold of lots of information on Synology's DSM on different applications you can get all kinds of information there as well as lots of details with regards to the software it's publicly accessible but where things get really, really interesting is down here on the tool chain. Now, tool chain, uh, this area here is effectively a series of resources that are utilized by app developers or just general devs that work on platforms that communicate with Synology now um, to cater their software, their systems, their clients to, and by clients, I mean the client tools, to be able to communicate with the Synology NAS in its native platform. And of course, as Synology update their platform, so do these tools have to be reshaped hence why when you do make big jumps onto new dsm platforms often there are some third party applications and indeed some first party applications that take longer than others to make the jump onto the new series and that's why it was tremendously interesting when this lovely little menu here appeared on the tool chain and on the tool kit DSM 7.2, uh, basically uh, tools for compatibility for different hardware environments has appeared on that official list there. And again, if you go back into the tool chain and the toolkit, it's all detailed there with DSM 7.2 arriving at DSM 7.2-6334. I know, hot stuff, right? Now, none of these tools are the actual .pat file for the download. This is purely for indication that one, DSM 7.2 beta is certainly on its way, and if not very, very soon, because you they wouldn't release these tools out there unless DSM 7.2 as the beta candidate is at least not if not in finalized and definitely in the shape it's going to be. These are designed for those third-party apps to make the bridging gap over. Something again you wouldn't do until the revision that is going to go public. Um, as a public beta is going to be accessible now we still don't know at this time if it's going to be a private invited beta or if it's going to be a full-blown beta again because this is a sub revision of dsm i don't think it's going to be the same as when dsm 7.0 rolled out and it was private invitation i think this is going to be like 7.1 and again if anyone wants to learn more about what 7.2 uh, is going to include again you can go through the article here that we've got linked in the description that goes through all of the stuff that was revealed at synology uh, 2023 and beyond on top of that there is of course the video that i did with rusty over on black void that video that went out two months ago detailing what we thought on the kind of highlights of what that keynote speech and what the rest of the software development was detailing for dsm 10.2 now again obviously when dsm 7.2 the beta does roll out i'm going to jump on board because i'm going to be testing it out so you don't have to but what about yourselves are you going to be thinking about making that jump? And what are the risks? Well, let's be realistic about this. And again, I'll keep this very, very brief. I want this to be a short video. Do not consider installing the DSM 7.2 beta if the following one or all points apply to you. One, your NAS is being used constantly and for business or at least at the very least uh, professional purposes because a new beta can disable certain tools, services and features or at the very least lead to unexpected results and performance dips from um, well-established first and third party apps. So do not install the beta on your Synology NAS if it's in constant use. Secondly, if you do not have at least two backups in place, yes, you can get away with one backup, but I don't recommend that. If you don't have at least two backups in place for your data on that Synology NAS, do not install a beta of DSN 7.2 when it arrives. Doing so will almost certainly you know, open the door to a risk that you were running a platform that is not um, stable, is not secure, and if something goes wrong and you need to reinitialize your NAS, that could be real problematic. And remember, when you do download a beta, be it DSM 7.2, and this is referred to previous betas when we've covered them here on the channel, if you install these, 
reversal and reverting back pre-beta is nigh on impossible. What do I mean by that? There isn't a simple way to just download DSM 7.1 and clock on like nothing happened. It doesn't work that way. When you download that out of your firmware, much as you can see in this solid as I've got here, if you install a new firmware update, it kind of updates the base level firmware inside that's on that DOM inside that installs the firmware. So by installing the beta, you can't roll back without going into SSH, without knocking around with putty and potentially in inexperienced hands, bricking your Synology NAS. So again, do not install the beta if the system is pivotal to your setup or if the system is running third or third party applications that you need all the time and you don't have a backup in place. But again, I'm going to wrap things up. I wanted to keep this video very, very, really short because there isn't a tremendous amount to talk about. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. And when DSM 7.2 does arrive in beta, which again, I do strongly believe is going to be remarkably soon, what would you like to see me test? I'm going to have an as on standby ready to rock with it. So if you've got requests or things that you want to see for your own personal setups, or maybe if there is a virtual uh, DSM or VDSM 7.2, it'd be nice if that happens. Synology, if you're listening, please let us know. Um, then, of course, we will go ahead with that. But do let me know in the comments below what you would like to see tested on DSM 7.2 when we do the full overview and testing and preview of DSM 7.2 when it arrives. Otherwise, other than that, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'm sorry. It's a really short and a tremendous amount to go on. And I will see you next time.